seen here from the sky, the 350 hectares of pine forest ravaged by flames in the coastal town of Frontignan. After breaking out Sunday afternoon, 600 firefighters were dispatched to the scene. But despite controlling the blaze, they couldn't save this house, where Sandra has lived for 11 years. All my work, all my family photos, it's a disaster. Around half the firefighters are expected to stay in the area to work on the site should another blaze ensue. But it's not the only southern French region struck by wildfires. Further down the Mediterranean coast, in Cannes en ruisson a fire fanned by strong winds forced 3,000 holidaymakers to evacuate a campsite in the middle of the night. In the morning, one owner came to see the damage, but this is all that's left of her mobile home. Though she wasn't present while the fire broke out, she was hosting two people who were luckily safe and sound. I wasn't worried about the house. I was thinking about the tenants. They're doing OK, so I feel reassured. Despite 11 minor injuries, 2,500 holidaymakers were able to return to the campsite. Some 20 kilometres away in argelès sur mer the wildfire risk has been classed as extreme, so firefighters have been stationed in the most sensitive areas. We've got the recipe today for a fire to grow quickly, especially with the temperature, the water level and the drought, so we're here so we can intervene as fast as possible. According to the French Interior Minister, this season has seen fewer forest fires than last year, with around 4,000 hectares burnt since the season started compared to 12,000 at the same time in 2023.